Should we ever explore things intentionally that arise naturally during the meditation, contrary to simply observing? I, I think it can be at times useful. Um, I think the times I can think of where it's useful is when you're just banging your head against the wall and it feels like you're not getting anywhere and the meditation is not progressing. I think it can be useful, you know, uh, conventionally useful uh, to spend some time, a little bit of time, sort of figuring out what you're doing wrong. This is called vimangsa, which is, well, conven it's, it's, uh, in one sense anyway, it refers to this sort of stepping back and taking a look at things. But I think that's the only point where I would recommend this. You know, explore things intentionally, you're kind of misleading with that terminology because we are exploring things, but the, the usage of that word is that, that the verbiage there is kind of sneaky, not, you know, I'm not blaming, not criticizing exactly, but you have to be careful that you're not tricking yourself by using that words into, into you know, backing up your, your sort of argument. Because you're not talking about exploring, you're talking about... Uh, I mean, I don't know, the exploring could go either way. It's a fairly neutral word, but your implication is that you want to um, sort of uh, prod and delve, you know, which, which it, it, it sort of, uh, from our point of view, implies um, leaving the middle way, because the middle way would be... Um, something a little bit less than what you're suggesting, but it still could be called exploration. So what we're doing is an, is an exploration, and it's intentional. It's just not um, you know, prodding in the sense of going beyond a simple awareness of things as they are. What we're doing, as I said in the last question, is observing. We're, do, we're conducting a science experiment, and we're going to record our observations. Uh, and in this science, uh, science experiment, as with a perfect science experiment, the conclusions will uh, be obvious from the observations. You don't, come, you don't interpret the observations beyond what is obvious. So uh, that, that's a perfect sci science experiment where you don't have to interpret, where anyone who looks at the data can come to the same conclusions. So that is um, what happens in meditation. You know, the, the conclusions come naturally. So all that's important is the proper observation. I think this question comes up because people feel that it's not enough. They're not satisfied by simply observing. And so they, they're looking for something more. That is... Um, I mean, that, that is caused by something completely different. That's caused by sort of um, ambition and uh, impatience, frustration, boredom, all of these things. And a sort of uh, preconception that um, meditation has to be more than simply observing a lack of tr confidence or trust and and the inability to conceive of the fact that simply observing things is going to get you the results. Now, it's hard to believe that by doing something so silly as just reminding yourself this is this, this is this, that that's actually going to do anything. You know, most people are like, well, I know everything about, about myself already. I mean, I've been how many years I've been watching myself? What could I possibly learn? So there's this one teacher in Bangkok, some of you may have heard me say this, he said, he told a 95-year-old woman, I said, so, you know, you know yourself pretty well, right? He said, yeah, yeah. You know your, how well you, do you know your hand? 
And he said, my hand, you know, quite well. I've used my hand all my life. And he said, how many knuckles do you have in one hand? Don't count. You know, tell me, how many knuckles do you have? Couldn't do it. She, she couldn't do it. No idea. I don't even remember. It's 14, 15, something like that. Just kind of as a funny joke, but our minds are very much like that. You know, of course we've been spending so much time with our minds, but we're not really investigating. It, if, and it actually is something quite simple, and the answers are quite obvious. We've just, it's amazing that we never look. It's, it's incredible that, really incredible that we spend all this time and didn't really see any of this. We were never looking, never trying to understand. Or maybe we gave up too soon, we didn't have the tools to understand. I suppose there always was a time where we wanted to understand. We just never really had the tools or a clarity uh, necessary to, to, to think of it as a science experiment where you need objective observation. You can't just think, you know, question, what is the answer? You skip the most important part and that's observing. But here, that's exactly what's being asked here. Is it, should, should you do more than observe? No, science doesn't work that way. And there's a reason why it doesn't. Anything else that you do, uh, you know, is manipulating the, the experiment. You know, that's why you use double blinds and everything, is to avoid all that. Anyway, so 